welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and I'm at Aquamedic Live, where I just got a whole bunch of rock or flower anemones in. Now, I thought I'd take this opportunity to make a video on them because I've got a lot of them. But they're really cool. They're super bright, super pretty, and incredibly easy to take care of. Now, like most anemones, they will go where they want to go, and there isn't a whole lot you're going to be able to do about it. So, when you buy in one of these, know that you're going to put it in your tank, and it's going to cruise around and do what it wants to do, and if it goes next to a coral, it will sting it. Now, that being said, in my experience, the rock and flower anemones move around less than something like a big rose bubble tip or something like that but they still have a risk of moving around, singing corals, or worse yet, getting sucked into one of your return pumps where it could be completely destroyed. It's a terrible thing. Like all anemones, rock anemones have a foot. So you wanna make sure that you don't tear the foot when you try to move it. Once it's on a rock, it could be really difficult to get off, just like any other anemone. So be super careful. There's a lot of ways to do it, but personally, once it's on a rock or something, in a reef tank, I just leave it alone. Now, what kind of conditions do you need for a rock anemone? Well, these guys actually do really well in a wide range of conditions, but really you're looking for standard reef conditions. So 74 to 80 degrees is perfect for temperature, calcium, alkalinity, you know, normal reef conditions. But really these guys are not gonna be calcium and alkalinity dependent as much as like a stony core, like an Acropora. Now, in my experience, the rock anemones that I've kept have gone through calcium and alkalinity spikes and falls. They've gone through just about anything and they've been really bulletproof. The big thing you gotta watch with these guys is that you don't rip their foot and that they don't get sucked into a power head. Both of those will definitely be lethal to a rock anemone. What's really cool though, is the wide range of colors these come in. They're bright, like the brightest zoanthids out there, but they can get pretty good size. Most of the ones you're gonna see for sale are gonna be about an inch to two inches across, but I've seen them closer to three or four inches reaching massive size. Now, for propagation, asexual propagation is possible, but I do not recommend cutting these guys. They have a high risk of dying if you cut them. So what you'll see is when the anemone pulls back, you'll see lots of little babies that have come around them. And I've actually personally seen this. So it does happen in captivity. Now the people that I've seen have this happen have had difficulty raise the babies, but they can be propagated in captivity. And hopefully in the future, we'll get a lot more captive grown rock anemones. Now these guys are great for big tanks and they're great for small tanks. You can put them in a big tank, you can try to colonize a whole rock with them. You can do a lot of things. These guys will tend to go to kind of medium flow, medium light areas. But what I really love is seeing rock anemones in a pico tank because this can be one of the cheapest reef tank setups you can do. You can do a small three to five gallon tank with nothing more than a heater, a power filter, and a fair light. It doesn't even have to be that great of a light as these guys don't need that much light. So keeping rock anemones can be almost as easy as fresh water when done correctly. Continuing with price, the rock anemones themselves aren't really that expensive when compared to other things. The rock anemones can start about 10 bucks a piece for some more brownish, darker green ones. And of course with these, color is everything. The brighter and more beautiful they are, the more they cost. But you can get really nice rock anemones for a very reasonable price, allowing you to really do a nice collection of them in that Pico tank we just talked about for a very reasonable price, making the tank and the livestock something the average person can easily do and easily afford. I love rock anemones for this reason. Now, I would love to set up a rock anemone tank of my own, and I've got a five gallon sitting at home that really could use these. It's completely empty right now, other than water and a bit of algae. I've got lights, I've got rock, so if there's some of these left Monday after the sale, I might set up my own rock anemone tank. Remember, only dead fish go with the flow. Thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe. 
See you on the next one. Peace.